I'm sure you have some potatoes in that kitchen that you don't know what to do with it. I am here to share another banger today. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing two recipes in one video, so keep watching, don't skip at all. First recipe is to show you how to make your own ketchup. If you are following Lady C and still buy ketchup from the store, buy no more after watching this video. You need a very firm ripe tomatoes. Cut them into pieces and take away their seeds. Once you are done removing the seeds, I will advise you cook the tomatoes before blending. That is if you want to make quantities that you can store for two weeks. All right. But because I'm making smaller quantity, I am going to blend the tomatoes before boiling. Put the tomatoes in the blender and blend till smooth. After blending, you need this kind of sieve. Pour in the blended tomato and sieve just like I'm doing. Now we still have some seed right in there. The hidden ones, the stubborn ones. <laughs> now to the blended tomato, I will add brown sugar. If you have white sugar, go with it, all right? This is cayenne pepper. This will give it the exact taste of the store-bought ones and vinegar. Move the pan to the stove and start stirring immediately. Thank you so much for watching today's video. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Please subscribe to my channel. Also like and share this video with your loved ones. All right, now stir and allow to cook. Continue to stir, you will notice that the tomato will start thickening. All right. Now, once it thickens, it will look like this. No more liquid in there, as you can see. Take it out of the stove and put in whatever you want to serve with. And your homemade ketchup is ready. Very simple and easy. It tastes so good. Very simple and easy. Set that aside. We'll move to the next step. In a bowl, add in the flour and sieve properly. Once that is done, I will add baking powder to the flour and two tablespoons of margarine. I will mix till I make a crumbs. Once that is done, I will go in with beaten egg. Once I add the egg, I will start adding water bit by bit till I form a dough. Shout out to you Nima Makupa watching from Tanzania, Rhoda watching from Ogun State, Nigeria, and Rosier Igwene watching from South Africa. Aww. I'm glad you love the recipe. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out in my next video. Apologies if I don't pronounce your name very well. Please don't take me to FBI. I will do better next time. <laughs> now we have a beautiful dough right in there. Cover and allow to sit in the kitchen for about 10 minutes. In there I have boiled Irish and sweet potatoes. I don't have any plans for these potatoes so I come up with this recipe. To the potatoes I will add soft butter and mash both together. Now you can use any means to mash this potato till you get a beautiful paste all right as you can see i'm using wooden spoon so somebody will not say i don't have any machine to mash the potato once i'm done mashing the potatoes i bring them together now i add the available vegetables i go in with spring onions shredded carrots and onion to spice it i will add all pepper spice curry powder i am using curry masala that curry tastes so good. Then I added some chili flakes and some salt. Mix to combine very well. Now remember, you can always use any vegetable of your choice. While stirring, I noticed that it is a bit of thick. So I decided to add some milk just to loosen it up. I am going for a creamy texture. If you like it thick, then you don't need to add any liquid. All right. Mix to combine very well. And this is what you should have. Just look at that mixture. The color is popping and the aroma. OMG. I don't need to tell you. Just give it a try and get back to me. Set it aside. Back to the dough. This is what we have. Add some flour on the work surface. I will cut the dough into two equal parts. You can roll everything at once, all right? Now spray a little flour so that it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. Give it a little bit of massage and roll. 
if you watch upon this minute i appreciate you it also means that you're enjoying video of course i know you are enjoying this video now it's time for you to click that like button why are you so stingy to give me a like huh it does not finish now youtube made it available for you to make use of it besides you don't pay for this like all right also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my next video once i'm done rolling i will shape the dough as demonstrated on the video this is particularly for those who want to use this recipe for commercial purposes once i'm done shaping the dough i cut into two equal parts then i cut as desired keep watching you will understand what i'm doing once i'm done cutting i will go in with the fillings just look at that omg it is popping i'm loving it i'm sure you love it now before i fold i use the tip of my finger to rub in little water at the four corners of the dough before i fold gently fold as i'm doing fold properly first i see with the tip of my fingers this is very important so that it does not bust out while frying See properly and repeat the same process with the remaining ones now if you are not sure about the ceiling i will advise you see finally with a fork i'm sure you have a fork in that kitchen make use of it right now <laughs> once i'm done sealing with a fork this is what you should have repeat the same process with the remaining ones gently lay them in a pan just like i'm doing at this point you can bake or fry if you want to bake just go ahead and brush with some egg. It will give it a shine at the end of the baking. But because we are not baking, we are frying. Gently throw them into the hot moderate oil. Do not overcrowd them. Add as much as your pan can contain. Once you add, allow them to behave the way they want. After about 30 seconds, flip them around just like I'm doing. This recipe gets ready within a minute. It does not take time at all. Flip them around again for the second time to be sure they are properly cooked. Once they are golden brown in color, gently take them out of the hot oil. Repeat the same process with the remaining ones and it's all done. Very simple and easy. Serve and enjoy. Uh -huh. Just look at that. Rosia Iguana, can you see that? Can you see this from South Africa? <laughs> the ketchup is not left out. I decorated with some leftover spring onion just to give it more appetizing look. Forget, you can always enjoy this recipe even without the ketchup, all right? Go ahead and enjoy. Try this recipe and get back to me. Look at the feeling. The feeling is feeling. To those of you that tried my recipe and gave me a feedback, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Also like and share this video with your loved ones. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.